hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is primary animal healthcare with me favorite veterinarian dr nobs so on the last two videos that i posted we were talking all things oxytetracyclines hashtag teramycins so on those videos i kept on saying when used correctly use the correct dosage and 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 so today on today's video i'm going to try and explain what do i mean by use correctly and what do i mean by the correct dosage all right thank you to everybody who's been with me since the beginning of my journey on youtube and if you're coming for the first time and you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe or if you're coming back for the third or the fourth or the sixth time and you still haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe it's absolutely free youtube will not be charging you okay let's get into today's video right so i kept mentioning that when used correctly and if you use the correct dosage oxytetracyclines work what do i mean by that it means that you must use them for what they are indicated for so what is oxytetracycline hashtag teromycin indicated for slash used for it is indicated for anaplasmosis and heart water these are both diseases that are caused by ticks all right it's also indicated for pneumonia it's indicated for foot rot for joint ill and for navel ill and strangles in horses all right but always read the package inside so that you show that you are using whatever product that you are using for the correct reasons so that's what um oxytetracyclines are indicated for now what is the correct dosage all right i'm gonna give you the most common dosage in most um in almost all the LAs, the dosage, the recommended dosage that you must give to your animal is one meal per 10 kg. Now, why does th what does that mean? It means that for every 10 kilogram, you have to give one meal, right? So if the animal weighs 10, you're going to give it one meal. If it weighs 20, you're going to give it two meals. Because how many 10s are in a 20? Two 10s. I hope I'm making sense, right? Because it's one meal per 10 kg. So some people um, tend to see one meal per 10 kg and because they don't understand what that quite means, then they just give the animal one meal or give it 10, 10. So they like choose, choose which, whichever number. I don't know. I don't know how the choice comes about, but I've seen it being done. And some people give um, low doses in an attempt to save. Uh, not a good idea. So give the recommended dose so you can achieve the desired outcome. All right, so guys, um, like I said, one mil per 10 kg. I'll quickly show you guys a simple calculation that you can use to get to how many meals you should give your animals. Let's say, for example, you think this cow weighs 200 kilograms. You're going to say 200 divided by 10, and that's going to give you a 20. Now, you're going to give that animal 20 meals also if you read the package inside they will tell you that you shouldn't give certain meals in one injection site for example they'll say don't give more than um 10 mil per injection site that means that you're gonna give uh if it's 20 mil you're gonna give 10 mil on the right side of the neck intramuscularly and then you're gonna give 10 mil on the left side of the neck intramuscular so intramuscularly just means into the muscles so you need to know the injection sites all right so you must know where is into the muscle where you should inject into the muscle in a cow in a goat in a in a, in a pig and or in your um your sheep right guys so i hope that really made sense and remember please to always read the package insert because sometimes especially with the short acting oxytetracyclines the dosages are a little bit different for example um I think it's um, high tech. I think it's two mil per 30 kg. So two mil per 30 kg. That means now if you think this car weighs 100 kg, you're going to say two times 100 divided by 30. That's going to give you how much you should be giving this animal. All right. And then also, um, also this works for your goat and your sheep, guys. If you think your sheep weighs 50 kg and the recommended dosage is one mil per 10, you say 50 divided by 10. So that you just essentially means how many 10s are in a 50. Now there is five tens in a 50 so you're going to give five mil of the oxytetracycline to your goat right i hope it makes sense guys i hope you understood if you still want me to explain further please kindly give me a comment on the comment section below and i will 
um, explain again if you want me to write the equation down i'm going to write it on the description box so just go to the description box and you will see and learn how to calculate the correct dosage for your medicines this is the easiest way especially if it is um recommended in meals per kilogram then it's easy to calculate it can also be recommended in milligrams per kg then it becomes a bit of complicated for other people but most of the, our oxytocycles that are out there are recommended in meals per kilogram right so enjoy and um use oxytocycline slash um teromycins correctly and use the right dosage if there's anything that you don't understand always consult a veterinarian or your local animal health technicians guys and you will be assisted thank you